Kia ora guys and welcome back to my Wii channel. Now for the last few weeks I've been absolutely obsessed with two different cameras. Both folders, one the Voigtlander Besser 2 which is a 6x9 folder, 1940s, love, love, love that camera. The thing is about that camera, it's a little bit big and the controls are all sort of the opposite way around to what you're used to and you've got to use that camera a lot to really get the best out of it. The other camera that I'm absolutely obsessed with is this little beauty. This is the Zeiss Iconta M or Mess Iconta, Mouse Iconta, Iconta Mess. It's a 6x6 folder from the 1940s again. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll uh, you'll know how much I love this camera and more importantly, why I love it because it just produces some absolutely fantastic photographs. I'm trying to use this camera more and more to get the best out of it. What I'm struggling with slightly at the moment is the square format. I've never shot anything square format before other than this camera. So it's a bit of a learning curve, you know, composing images and, and making sure everything is in the right place, uh, in the right order, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the curve. I've got two issues with this camera. Both I knew about when I bought the camera. One is the slow shutter speeds. Anything below 1 of a second, the shutter is very, very slow closing. Down to half a second and below, it, it kind of sticks and basically the shutter's wide open for as long as it wants, which is a well-known fault with these old cameras, unfortunately. The other issue I've got, is with the rangefinder. Now these old cameras, the rangefinders, you look through the rangefinder and you've got two images and you kind of turn your scale dial until the two images align. Once the two images align, you know you've got your focus perfect, you've set your range from your range dial onto your lens and away you go. Perfect. Now unfortunately this camera, and I knew about it when I bought it and I was a little bit concerned about it, but as it happens it makes absolutely no difference to the final image whatsoever but it's just, it just makes composing a little bit a little bit tricky. The images come together on the horizontal plane, but like this, they're offset slightly on the vertical plane. So you're still getting a crossover of images slightly offset, which makes absolutely 100% no difference whatsoever to the final result. Whatever slight faults it's got, it's producing some, some of my favorite images. It really is. So I've got two ways of rectifying these two slight issues. One, I can send it away to a guy in Christchurch, I think he is. He can do the repair, no problem whatsoever. But it's going to take a while, maybe a long while because he's got such a backlog of work. I don't want to be without the camera for any long period of time. So I've got a cunning plan, or I had a cunning plan. I've actually enacted the cunning plan, which is to simply buy another Zeiss Iconta M. An exact same model. Look at that little bad boy. It arrived the other day, it needs a clean up. I'll put some neat foot oil on the casing, tidy it all up, tidy the bellows, give it a check out. I've put a film in here and I'm just gonna run that film through it before I make a decision on what I'm gonna do with this one. Because this one is beautiful, it works a treat, but it's got a few little niggles. I can live with them, but do I wanna live with them? Do I need to live with them? So I may sell this camera to somebody who, who's gonna know exactly what the issues are. For me personally, I like a camera that's not got the issues. So I bought this one on the understanding that the shutter speeds worked the whole range. Unfortunately, on receiving the camera, they don't. It gets down to maybe a 30th of a second and it starts going slow again, the same issues. So it, it is gonna need to go in for a repair. So mm, that's uh, it's not really gained me anything really. But the one thing it has got, the images, when they come together in the rangefinder, they come together horizontally in line. No offset verticals. It makes no difference whatsoever to the final image. But to my eyes, I've got slightly dodgy eyes, my aging eyes, and it just makes life just that little bit easier to get a focus on this camera. All images you see on this video were shot with the original Zeiss Iconta M. So to the photographs, two rolls of HP 5 Plus. A group of people, some people I know, some people I don't know, some people I just met in the streets and thought, man, you look fantastic, can I take your photograph? I think only two people I asked sort of knocked me back. The images, man, I love them. I absolutely love them. So basically, guys, a long-winded way of introducing a small slideshow of images from the Zeiss Iconta M.
Thank you for watching this video guys, but most importantly, thank you to the guys who actually starring this video. You guys make the video, you guys are fantastic. Kakite or not, have a great weekend.